to the second part. Uh, um, as I thank you, yeah. As I said before, about the of uh, answer the question. Now, what do you have to say about IPOB structure? What do you have to say about IPOB structure? And some people trying to thwart this established structure. What do you have to say, personally? Please go on. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> IPOB, IPOB structure. IPOB, in f first of all, the, the, the mantra of IPOB is one family. The IPOB structure that I know has been set up as the backbone upon which this movement relies that is a structure and in every organization if you do not have if you do not have a structure you will collapse just as a human being what is our structure it is a spinal cord that you have a you know what was the spinal cord the spinal line your spine that's the structure if that is tampered with if you have a problem with that you will collapse as a human. You will not walk. So the structure has been set up there in IPOB. IPOB has her own structure, which is her backbone upon which she relies. There is an hierarchical organogram. I mean, this, this has been since 2014, 2000, 2015. In terms of the organogram, that's that's what I'm talking about. The organogram has been since 2014 <clears throat> and is hierarchical, hierarchical rather. It is put in into place to enable the effective functioning of, of IPOV. And that structure stems from the head of Directorate of State through to the last official within every IPOB chapter. The, the Directorate of State spearheads uh, some time ago during 2015, I'm sure those who were in IPOB then would hear a lot of, oh, IPOB is being spearheaded by the DOS, IPOB is spearheaded by the DOS, DOS is in the canal, and then the canal is the DOS. I, I, I don't know if, 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 if nobody sings that mantra anymore, but that is the structure that I know that in the canal has set in place. The Directorate of State, of, of state spearhead the movement and i'm sure we are all aware that Nandekano is also a member of the us hence any operation outside of this very structure honestly should be disregarded and let it be worthy of note that Radio Biafra, which is why I am here today, I mean, <clears throat> I could go on BBC and, and the rest of them, but Namdekano understands the power of media. He knows that if you have media, you have the power. The, 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 the rest of the media censored or sponsored by the government, they will always censor your news. They will always twist what you say to be something else. And then Namde Kano will say to you, Radio Biafra is where you come and you get the unadulterated news or information. So let's not forget that. That Radio Biafra is the mouthpiece of the movement. There could be other movements, other places in the world. There are several movements, everybody trying to make sure that we get Biafra. But IPOB, under the leadership of Nnamdi Kano, 
Radio Biafra is the mouthpiece of the movement. And as Mazen Namdekanu will always say, Radio Biafra is where we worship. It is where we worship. For those trying, trying to thwart, to thwart the established structure, the very purpose, the very spinal cord upon which IPOB lies on. They need to be aware that they are functioning outside of IPOB, being led by Namdekano. And when you function outside of a defined structure, you are deliberately, you are deliberately sabotaging the objective of, of, of that very movement. Let me give you a, a biological example. Some, some people may think I, I actually didn't go to school. <laughs> During the cell formation, I'm giving a biological example as to how you function within a structure. During a cell formation, which is referred to as mitosis, some say mitosis, some say mitosis, the cells would split into two sister cells to create a bigger function. And what is that bigger function? That bigger function is known as the tissues. Now, these tissues would come together to create organs. And the organs create a functional system. Now, if you relate this to the system of IPOB, you will understand the hierarchical structure that I'm talking about. Therefore, when you function outside of a functional system, you are an exo, exoparasite. Uh, I mean, a lot of us, we did biology in, in secondary school. You function as an exoparasite and your objective is specifically to penetrate the functional system to cause harm or mishap. That becomes your job. That becomes your prerogative, that becomes your objective, that becomes your vision as an exoparasite to cause mishap because you're functioning outside of, of the mapped structure or system or functional system. However, if an exoparasite decides to establish a symbiotic relationship. I want our people, for everyone who is under the sound of my voice, to understand this very example that I'm given. If you, if you fail to understand it, ask your brother, ask your sister, ask, ask your um, lawyer, or ask your doctor whom you think might understand better. <laughs> If an exoparasite decides to then establish a symbiotic relationship with an already established system. If you remember, I did say I will try to not be ambiguous for us not to be bound by the complexity of ambiguity. So I'm trying to, to, to speak in a simple term and in, in a simple Tone, so everyone will understand me. Now, if an exoparasite decides to establish a symbiotic relationship with an already established system, then there must be a form of agreement, underline the word agreement, between the system and the exoparasite. Outside of any agreement, outside of these very agreement, the exoparasite must be regarded as an intruder whose intention is to cause 
harm and to cause chaos. To explain this further, think about the, the grazing cattle, you know, um, cattle. The grazing cattle and an egret. Egret is E G R E T. Whilst the cattle grazes, the egret feeds on the fleas. You know the fleas that you find on the on the back on the skin of the cattle. The egret feeds on the fleas on the on the cattle. So they both are benefiting from from their relationship. So whilst the cattle is grazing and the fleas are you know eating off the skin and disturbing the the cattle, the egret is as light as it is, is feeding on the fleas. And the cattle has no problem whatsoever because the egret is, is, is helping it. But imagine a dog wanting to jump on the back of a grazing cattle. What, what will happen? Of course, the, the cattle will, <laughs> there will be a fight. <laughs> that was, absolutely. So that is, when you try to thwart, to thwart a structure, a system, that is what happens because the, the egret comes based on, 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 on agreement and, and feeds on the fleas and the bolts will have it. So I think that is, that is my answer to, to, for those trying to um, thwart the structure set by Nanda Kano and his DOS members. And that is where IPOB is spearheaded from. Thank you.